Hey, everybody. I wanted to just come on and discuss what I feel isn't really um, spoken about too much. It's the, the, the natural law and the natural law of the universe and the natural law of God and spirit. I do feel um, sort of dictates how we evolve and progress as spiritual beings. But in terms of laws, there also are natural laws for the physical realm, not so much legal laws, but if we think about here on Earth, our, our physical matter life now, they're all living, um, what are some of these laws? So, you know, the obvious ones are the law of gravity, um, law of mor mortality, everything passes, everything goes through a physical death, um, the law of, of cause and effect for the physical world is like, is some, like, for example, if I go to a doctor or a healer and I have really bad arthritis, and I get um, spirit healing, trance healing, Reiki, whatever sort of healing, um, sort of alternative healing, or if I go to a doctor and get like cortisone injections or pills or whatever, and I leave and I feel better and I go back to my wet, damp, moist home, um, which continues to aggravate my arthritis, that goes against the natural law of healing. I, I cannot heal. Or if I go to a healer or a doctor because I have um, lung disease and I get medicine and they clear up my lungs and I, I leave and I immediately just light up a cigarette. Um, and then I come back because the, my lung problems are exacerbated more. That is going against the natural law. Like my action is going against the natural law of healing. Um, because I'm I'm going right back into the conditions, the physical conditions that made me sick in the first place. So it's there the natural law. I'm going against it. Okay, so that's like physical laws, and that's the cause and effect. The cause is I'm continuing to smoke, or I'm not taking care of my body, and the effect is I'm not getting better and I'm not healing. Um, if we talk about spiritual laws or the or the laws of god i do believe these laws are put into effect and are there for us to get back on the track of living a spiritual life um also the laws of ca cause and effect are very much in action um in the spiritual laws so if the cause is that i am becoming a being of compassion a being of love um, I'm inviting love. I'm inviting gratitude into my life every day. I'm finding the presence of God within me. I'm working towards my spiritual um, progression and evolution. I'm practicing. I'm reaching out to my spirit guides, my spirit inspires, my friends in spirit to work with me and help develop me. I will attract all these beautiful spirit beings that are also beings of love, beings of compassion, of kindness. And that work that I'm doing on my own evolution, my own development, my own progression will attract this energy that will help me progress. Okay. That's cause and effect. That's in a positive way. But if as a spiritual being, I'm not practicing gratitude and I'm not becoming a being of love and I'm being very judgmental of other people or feel that I'm superior because of my skin color, because of my sexual identity, because of my bank account, because of my social standing, my passport, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm blocking the, the divine energy from reaching me fully and working with me fully. So that definitely is the cause and effect working in the adver adverse conditions. It's not benefiting me because I'm blocking it because I'm not matching this compassion, love, kindness, acceptance that I think God, the creator, the great spirit, the father um, wants from all of us. And this is how we all connect with each other. So it's very important, I feel, to understand the workings of this natural law of spirit, of the spirit realm, of the universe, that it is a constant adjustment to keep trying to build your compassion, raise your kindness, be kind to people, be compassionate towards people you might not understand, um, to work with people and send healing to them when you actually might not like them, that's a huge lesson in kindness and compassion. Um, I'm not saying you should ever let anyone abuse you or take advantage of you or treat you in a disrespectful way, 
but I think you can help people that you don't like. And I do feel that's a, a, a true manifestation of the law of kindness, the law of compassion. And I know from my own spiritual path that the more healing, the more love I give um, to people that I have the honor and pleasure of working with, the more healing and love I receive, the more help I give people, the more help I receive. I don't think about this as a reward or award for doing these things. I don't do it to get, but that's a natural law that the more I give, the more I get. The more I give freely, the more I receive. So it's all about this. It's really to find this equilibrium, this balance. You give and you receive. You hand over and give kindness, compassion, respect to all living beings, not just people. And you get that back from living beings, from other people, but also from the spirit realm. Because I do feel the spirit world is a com, totally encompasses this, this, these natural laws. Because it's all about love. It's all about kindness. It's all about respect. Um, it's all about compassion. So the more I can become like that and live in these laws, in these spiritual laws, the closer I can get to the spirit realm. And I do feel the closer they can get to me. So in very simple terms, the only laws that the important ones I feel are the law of love, the law of kindness, the law of understanding, and the law of forgiveness and compassion. And all of these are divine laws. And as long as you can understand this, that it's a constant balance, it's a constant shift, we can then get closer to the spirit realm and they can work with us. I believe um, clearly and fully if we can become more like them and just keep this energy of love and compassion going and follow these laws. I, I really do think that it, a lot of what we experience in the physical world, we reap what we sow. And so if we have this negative outlook and we're, we're passing judgment on people and, or we're even passing judgment on ourselves, um, what we get back is negative because we're giving out negativity so the more positivity you can give out the more positivity you receive it's the laws of attraction basically if you want to break it all down um but i think all the natural laws are basically running on the laws of attraction if you're a student of spiritualism two three four five six the sixth principle of spiritualism is the compensation and retribution hereafter of all the good and evil deeds done on earth that's basically you reap what you sow so whatever good deeds deeds should be given freely not to get something back we're rewarded for them in progression that we're creating ourselves and what if we're harming people whatever evil that we're doing we have to then the scales are tipped so we have to we have to make retribution for those things, the the deeds that are considered, you know, in judgment, in prejudices, in not being kind to people, not showing compassion. We have to pay that back um, in the spirit realm. So what I try to do is I do feel that listen, no one is expecting anyone to be an angel and to be a saint here on earth. That's not what this earthly plane is about. It's really to learn and how to check your reactions and how to check your behavior and patterns and just do mini corrects throughout the day. But when I feel like I've wronged somebody or I didn't treat somebody the way that I know they deserve to be treated just in a moment, I would rather try to make that right here in the physical realm because it's way easier to make right here if it's with another person that's that's living um, physically like we are, um, as opposed to waiting until I pass. So I I want to just drive that point in. The point is not to be like an angel. The point is not to be a saint. We're human and we're here to experience the human condition in the physical realm, but it's okay to apologize. It's okay to try to make right on wrongs that we have caused. Um, it's okay if you've 
spoken out in anger or in a reaction that doesn't really go into the natural law to try to go and repair it in whatever relationships you have. It doesn't mean you have to let people back in your life that you don't want in your life, but you should try to smooth things out here because I do feel that we do reap what we sow. And I'd really rather try to correct these issues and behaviors and re and reactions that I've had now in the physical realm, as opposed to waiting till I get to spirit, because I think then it's really about, um, you know, revisiting everything and, and trying to fix things from the spirit realm. Of course, people do it. I mean, I, I, I know that from, from communicating with a lot of past loved ones and also my own, that they're trying to make retribution now um, in spirit, but being living still um, living in the physical realm, I would have much rather they talk to me when they were still alive um, and that we had closure here on earth. So just be aware of the behaviors that you are bringing to other people, be aware of the patterns, be aware of the reactions, and just try to move into this, the natural laws of spirit and the universe and try to just live in them. And it's really the laws, like I said, the laws of kindness, forgiveness, love, compassion, um, and try to stay there because that's when life gets really beautiful. When you can stay within these laws, you see, you start to manifest all these really beautiful and positive changes in your life. Um, don't feel bad if you don't succeed all the time. Like I said, that's what we're here for. We're here to learn. We're here to identify these reactions and these patterns. So, but try to make an effort to fix them and to, and to smooth it out. Doesn't mean, like I said before as well, that you have to invite people back into your life that you don't feel are good for you. That's fine. Not everyone will be um, good for you. And maybe the lesson is that you have to break contact, but I feel like you can do it without anger, without hostility, without a, a fight or, and, and just really say, I let you go. I let you go with love. I wish you the best and hopefully they'll wish you the best as well. So please remember all of these laws boil down to the laws of attraction and cause and effect. Every cause, every behavior, every deed has an effect. Everything we do has a result. So, and this one cause, this one action that we do can affect so many people. So I really try to live and speak in kindness when I can, um, because I know it, it reverberates itself out and if I'm kind to somebody and I can help somebody, I know then they will pay it forward and they will help others. Okay. I know if I'm rather snarky or um, short with somebody, that also can sort of spiral into someone reaching out to them and they'd snap at that person. And then it's just, it's like a pebble in a, in a, in a pond. The ripples go out, go out and out and out. So I'd rather create a ripple of love, a ripple of kindness. Um, as opposed to a ripple of sadness and, and anger and hostility, because that really does go all over the planet. So think about that, the butterfly effect, butterfly effect, excuse me, um, that the, the wind created by a pair of butterfly wings moves across the whole globe. So think about all of your actions, all of your words, all of your thoughts about others and about yourself as too, they, they move all over the planet. It, they surround the planet with the energy that you're putting out. So I don't remember who wrote it. It was an author. Um, and she had, uh, she was sick. She was a doctor and she had a stroke. She couldn't talk. And, and something happened when she had the stroke where, um, God, I can't think of the name of her name or the book, but it was a good book. Um, when the doctors or people would come to visit her in the hospital, she could feel um, the energy that they came in the room with. So she wrote a, she wrote a note on their hospital door, I believe that said, please be responsible for the energy that you bring into this room. And that has always stuck with me. So I really, before I do anything with spirit, I check my heart and I just, I really try to enter every space that I go into with um, just a, a checked energy with an energy of compassion, with an energy of love. And I'm hoping that being the cause, the effect will be 
that other people will feel that and they will go out and they will spread compassion and love. Okay, so think about all these laws that are in effect around us all the time. I don't think these laws can be changed. I think it is what it is. Every cause has an effect. You reap what you sow. There's con compensation and retribution for everything you do, um, good and bad. So I would rather really build my checklist of things that I'm doing well to help humanity and, and help the spirit realm as opposed to being a hindrance to it and then having to work extra hard later to try to make up for these things with retribution. Um, and I'd rather do everything here. Um, so if there's someone you feel that you've wronged or someone that you lashed out towards with hostility um, and anger, just try to fix it. It doesn't mean you have to invite these people back into your lives. Like I said, some people come into your lives to teach you, you need to defend your boundaries and defend yourself. That's fine. But try to end end the the hostility and the anger towards other people um, and just say, I wish you well. I send you love. That's it. And then that's all you have to worry about. As long as it's ending well and that hatred or bad energy doesn't fester and move out, because I think that we're not aware that how small a reaction that we have that we direct towards someone in a negative way what a big effect that that can have on on them and how it ripples out from them to other people okay we're all connected we're all here to live this physical existence together and we're all connected we're all joined we're all one big family and we all hold the spark and the light of god within us which makes us a family so think about that think about all these laws and try to be as much as you possibly can a being of love compassion forgiveness and kindness and you'll see and just be aware of the thoughts of the words of the energy that you're bringing into every space you go into and how your how your behavior affects people and try to make it a positive effect or make it make a positive change in people's lives okay thank you very much um i just want to talk about that for a minute and i wish everyone a lovely day bye